This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well in part one we modeled our blunderbuss and in this part we are going to UV it. Okay, so let's jump in. Here we go. Okay guys, well here's our uh, low poly uh, blunderbuss. Uh, we're going to UV this guy. Uh, actually before we do, uh, there's a little annoying gap here between these two. So I'm going to go to mesh and separate. I'm going to take that, hit W and kind of move that over just to close that gap, okay? So uh, let's UV this guy. I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna go to uh, modify and center pivot. UV, I'm gonna go with cylindrical mapping. It's not facing correctly, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna rotate that like so. Hit control A. This should be at minus 90. And these two should be at zero. There you go. We're gonna go to UV and UV editor, have a look. Right click shell, yeah, perfect. So uh, we're gonna hit uh, layout, there we go. And then we're gonna move on to the next bit, which is this guy. Pretty much same deal. We're gonna UV cylindrical. And again, we need to rotate that. So again, Minus 90, 0 and 0. Let's see, UV and UV editor. Right click shell and layout. There we go. And then we have this guy here, which is all over the place, but that's fine. We're going to go to object mode. Let's minimize that. Let's do UV uh, automatic projection. And then I'm gonna go into UV and UV editor. Let's see what we've got here. First, let's move some stuff out of the way. So let's see. Uh, okay, we got the, why is he not responding? That's right guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the bottom, that's fine. Left and right, that's fine. Bottom is fine, that's fine, and that's fine. Triggers, triggers. I don't see any major issues here. It actually looks quite clean. So I'm gonna go with that, all right. So that means that we are gonna go to object mode. We're gonna select all of it, and we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go to layout. And there seems to be some overlap here. Uh, however, let's select this and go to mesh and combine. And then we're gonna go to shell, drag click all of this and go to layout. And there's still overlap, so let's fix that. Right click shell, I'm gonna hit R and scale that in, move that up here. We're gonna take these, these are quite large. So I'm gonna hit R and scale them in a bit. Hit W, move that down, move that here. This one can come back in. We'll make that a bit larger. And these are two fairly important elements of our model. So let's make them a bit larger, okay? Let's rotate that. And then we'll take this guy, scale it down just a little. And it seems we have some stuff right here that needs to come in, okay? Well, it's a, you know, it's a tutorial, so I'm not gonna spend forever on this. Uh, we're gonna go with this, okay? So we're gonna go to object mode, the selected, we're gonna go to, Actually, let's decide on what type of material that we're going to add to our model. So um, let's see, we got this. Let's go to mesh and separate. This and this is one material type. So let's assign a new material. We'll do a Lambert and we'll just do kind of a 
color ID on it. Then this part of this is uh, metal. The rest of it is wood. So let's determine what part is wood because we don't want the rest to be different. We'll do this one first. So a new material, another Lambert. We'll do really yellow, whatever. And then we'll go here, we'll go to face. We'll go in here. And what we'll do is we'll select these faces and hit shift period to increase that selection. Let's just see how clean that went. That's fine. We just need to deselect these. I'm going to hit four for wireframe mode so I can see it a bit better. So that's all going to be metal. That's fine. Uh, what I do want to do is take this middle path section here. And let's have a look. So this needs to be wood. This as well. So we'll kind of get that metal look. And I'm just wondering whether it would be cool to do that all the way around. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay. So one more check, hit four and hit five. Yep. So we're gonna assign new material. Let's do another Lambert and we'll do, I don't know, green or so. Okay. So that is our setup. We're gonna go to object mode once again. Let's go to mesh and uh, combine. Let's see if that worked, it did not. Mesh and combine, yep. We're gonna go to file, export selection, and let's just put it on our desktop and we'll call it low poly. Blender bus. Okay, and export selection. Okay, so that's the uh, UVing and color ID bit. And the next step is going into Substance Painter. Here we go.